tal amigos? Una nueva edición aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Tenemos un show con uh, tres debuts de autos nuevos. El Mercedes-Benz CLA, tenemos el Cadillac CTS y tenemos también eh, el debut, eh, o bueno, el, la nueva implementación de los eh, sistemas Uconnect del grupo Chrysler en el Jeep Cherokee, en la Dodge Durango y en las camionetas Ramba. También vamos a tener una interesante entrevista sobre el tema de los adolescentes cuando empiezan a manejar y una pregunta que vamos a responder o tratar de responder por lo menos What does a woman want in a car? Eh, así que bueno, vamos a empezar. Esta semana estuvimos en el Washington D.C. y en Annapolis, en Maryland, probando el nuevo Mercedes-Benz CLA. Y, y para que nos explique un poco de esto, vamos a hablar con Rob Moran, el nuevo eh, director de comunicaciones de Mercedes-Benz para Estados Unidos. So I'm uh, here with the, uh, I wish to say, new uh, director of communications for Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, it still sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> with the new car, with the new engine, with the new, a lot of news for Mercedes-Benz with this uh, new CLA, yeah, Rob? Yeah, uh, I mean, this is probably the biggest launch that we have and the biggest launch that we've had in a number of years because it really just resets the entry point that we have for Mercedes-Benz. We've got a great-looking four-door coupe body style, very fuel-efficient and powerful four-cylinder engine, and a great starting point at 29.9. Yeah, and that's, that's the key thing. I mean, you're really, really starting at a... At a The field that Mercedes-Benz has is, is never been here, at least not in the United States. In Europe, you have the A-Class, the B-Class, and, and some other cars. But here, this is like a complete new thinking of approaching the customer, right? I mean, uh, the point price is low, but it's still a Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, it gives us an opportunity to reach out to uh, a, another segment of the market where we, let's say, didn't have that entry point. Because the C-Class traditionally, uh, for many years, uh, ever since the, uh, the mid-80s, there was a car called the 190E, and we were kind of in this position before that we had a new entry point below E-Class, below yeah. S-Class. Um, and then that established itself to the C-Class. But um, C-Class is, is growing a little bit bigger. Uh, what we wanted to have is a, a, a smaller car, a very fuel efficient, powerful, very expressive shape, but also gives a great uh, entry point at uh, 29.9 for a customer to maybe consider this being their first Mercedes, or someone that's a little bit young at heart, maybe this is their their next Mercedes, if you will. Yeah, and how how would what about you tell to that new customer that uh, again like couldn't afford a, a Mercedes before, and what what should they expect? Because uh, some people say okay, lower price, maybe lower quality, lower materials, whatever, but what would you say to those people? Well, I think, you know, we have a, a, a tagline that kind of drives our company that was inspired by Carl Benz, uh, the best or nothing, and that's something that you see. It's much more than a, uh, let's say, an advertising strap line that we put to our communication. It is a guiding principle for the company, and especially for the CLA customers, which really Their expectations are very high that they have for Mercedes, especially if they've been here for the first time. They want to make sure they have a Mercedes-Benz experience when they come to the dealer, when they come to get their car serviced. Uh, and the way we also engage with them, let's say, on social media or on their advertising platforms. So what we found early on is these customers are very influential. They're very living digitally on their own uh, networks, and uh, they have very high expectations for the brand. Uh, and I'm very confident, as are all my colleagues, that we're going to exceed those expectations and delight them. Yeah, and if you allow me, I'm going to use one phrase that your predecessor, Jeff, they used to say, like, it's easier to come down from the penthouse to the lobby than the other way around, right? Yeah, he knew uh, a lot about the penthouse back, <laughs> back in the day. And, uh, so I was like, saying, like, the reference, like, it's, it's easier for, like, a company who's making a great car <laughs> at the, the luxury level, like, you obviously trimming things uh, to put in the car, but, like, still it's easier to make something that's really good and make it still affordable at the lower level. Uh, yeah, and especially, you know, if you think about the funnel uh, in terms of, you know, uh, young professionals, uh, that if this is their first Mercedes, this could be um, their first step and entry point that we have. And then we have many choices, you know, as their family grows, they want an SUV, they want a larger sedan, maybe a bigger sedan or spying up to an SLS one day. We have some great places that they can graduate to. And that's not just a philosophy, that's also uh, empirical data that bears that out, is that based on our loyalty, which we have the highest loyalty in the industry, what we find is when we get people within the brand, they stay within the brand. So if we could bring a lot of new customers to the brand with this car that speaks in a different way, um, they're certainly in a, in a great position that we can keep those customers throughout their life cycle. Yeah. And uh, speaking of uh, new cars and new things and new options, you're going to be busy for the next seven years, I heard, right? Like every three months, a new car? That's yeah, we, we talked this morning uh, a little bit of peak in our history, uh, or future rather, um, 30 new models in seven years. So that's, if you kind of do the math, that's roughly a new car 
uh, every quarter for the next seven years, which is uh, pretty astounding. So I think uh, you're going to be uh, working a lot for that time. Uh, uh, no question about it. I think the, the little hair that I have left, um, <laughs> hopefully I'm going to keep most of that. So that let's, time, uh, let's go back to the CRA because this is the first one, the 250, but then there comes uh, the AMG later. And like very other variants, right? Yeah, CLA 45. This is the first uh, four-cylinder AMG, also uh, with all-wheel drive as standard. It's the first all-wheel drive variant that we have for the CLA uh, platform. We have a CLA 250 uh, formatic next year, but um, zero to 60 in 4.6 seconds, 355 horsepower, a two-liter four-cylinder engine. That's 179 horsepower per liter. The most powerful. Uh, four-cylinder engine that's available currently in the world. Yeah, I, I know it's going to be hard to, for you to explain this, but how they do, like a four-cylinder for the 250 and a four-cylinder, like, so much more powerful because it's like a hundred and some horsepower difference, right? Yeah, well, the, I mean, those are the, the mad geniuses that we have <laughs> at AMG. I mean, we're um, a racing is in our background in terms of DTM and also a partnership that we have in Formula One. That's where our roots are. Uh, and what we're known for is extracting the most out of an a engine package. There's a lot of uh, individual components for that engine to give it that power, but also um, great turbo boost. We have 26.1 PSI of boost going yeah. through that engine, and also tremendous torque, which is an AMG hallmark, and then we mate that to a great uh, four-wheel drive system. So it's a, it's a really fun little car. Yeah, I once told an engineer, like, that's where the magic uh, happens, and he got insulted because there's a lot of work behind everything. It's no magic. There's, yeah. like, real work there. Right? No, it's absolutely. I mean, if you look at AMG and you walk around the campus, three-fourths of that is dedicated to engineering as far as that company goes. So uh, we have some very sharp men and women uh, working in engineering at AMG to make sure for our customers that want a bit more um, that we're going to deliver more and then exceed their expectations even further. Excellent. Rob Moran, uh, thank you very much again, and congratulations. The new uh, Director of Communication, Mercedes-Benz USA. And uh, so we drove the 250. In the morning, we're going to drive the, the AMG now in the afternoon and see how it is. Super. Thank, thank you. Thank you.